All right, guys, welcome to Rusty Duck Garage. Today, we're bringing you another old-time classic here. This is a classic original car that was in our local area for many, many years. A good friend of mine owns this car, and uh, we're going to show it to you. He's going to tell you some things about it that he knows about it. Uh, just a neat old classic car. Okay, this 1956 Pontiac Chieftain was bought brand new in McMinnville, Oregon. It's, uh, it's a survivor car, as you can see here. Just Tell us a little bit about the car, Sean. Like I say, the local car that's sold new here in McMinnville uh, has original paint, 77,000 miles. And the car was barn kept for quite a few years, so it, it, all the patina in that showed in. It got uh, remarkable rockers, floorboards are shiny. As you see, the, the original dome light and everything still works in the car. That's pretty cool. The dome light still works. Mm. Rockers. Yeah, and, it, and it is a it's a true two door hardtop, 56 uh, floorboards. All the original floorboards are still just solid, so uh, no holes or anything in them when we pulled up all the original jute. Nice. Uh, just, a, just an original survivor, you just don't see many in this condition. Let me take a look at the dash here real quick. Look how much chrome is on those dashes on these cars. Okay guys, if you look closely here on the shift indicator, uh, the little steering wheel there, you'll see there's no park. Um, the parking brake is what you used, and you also see the that reverse is down clear down in the lowest position there. Um, normally, you would see that as the first uh, detent that you have. Really cool original car. How long you had the car, Sean? I've had the car about five years. You see here, the, the last oil change in 2,000 miles ago was in 1970. Yeah, it had a 74,972, and it's got 77,000 on it now. And that was um, in 419 of 1970 here at Frederick's <laughs> wow. in McMinnville. Frederick Chevrolet in McMinnville. I worked at Frederick's. It was sold out to Lucas Chevrolet when I worked there back in the day. Yeah. All the... And the neat thing with the hard tops, all your window sweeps, you can close them, everything. It's still just open to close everything like it should. It's got nice original glass in it. One of the back quarters have a have a spot. That, you know, when you roll them up, most of these spring loaded, wore wore out by now, and this one just fits nice and it's got a really nice, actually perfect stainless. Yeah, one of the things uh, a lot of guys see in this car is 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 rust. That's surface rust. This car is virtually a rust-free car. It's, it's very solid. You see from the, the trunk area of this car, it's just, that's probably one of the things that most impressed me about the car was the trunk itself, the, the bottoms of the deck lid. I mean, you just don't see original deck lids like that. Original jute on the, from the inside of the floorboard to lift up, and I mean, there's your original primer paint. You don't see any rust through, no holes, no, no nothing no, there. Sir. It's just a, just a solid old car. You got all four wheels? Yeah, I have all four of the, the dog dish hubcaps and everything that go with it. Look like we got some fender skirts yeah, back there. Yeah, I've never tried them. I don't know if they're the right color, but I don't know if they were ever on the car or if it was something the owner acquired. Huh. Put on. I, I changed the wheels out and put the steel wheels up and just put an old set of Americans we had on it just because we, we like that look. So what about the history of the car here in McMinnville? As far as the, the original, the story on this car was the people, I can't remember if it was Amish, but they, were, they took it to, they bought it new, took it to church, and the pastor thought that they shouldn't have this automobile. So it, it was sold, and then it stayed in the same family up until I bought it. Wow. Wow. That's cool. But yeah, all the stainless, there's not a dune in any of the stainless. The bumpers and everything need to be redone, but the stainless on the car is perfect. Yeah, I like the American Racing Wheels on it. Yeah. Original motor, all the original chalk marks on the firewall. When he's talking about chalk marks, you can see the chalk marks here on the firewall. Yeah, but you can the see original it's back where it come down the line. Nothing's been altered. The automatic choke still works on it perfect. Uh, it just a, it's just a driver. Car runs out, drives, training yes. works. Yeah, oh yeah, everything shifts good and that. I mean, if I, I don't drive it enough, so the brakes will pull the first few times you drive it, but uh, you get a couple miles down the road and she uh, just drives wonderful. 
Okay, one of the things I really like about the 56 Pontiacs is the, the trim that goes across the hood. Uh, just really, really adds to the car. It just looks nice. The, the Pontiacs and Buicks had a lot more uh, trim to them than a Chevrolet did. They're just really a nicer car. A Chevrolet is more of a entry-level car than a Pontiac or a Buick was. Tell us about the roof on this car. This, uh, in the hard top, 55, 56, 7, basically it's the same as a Chevrolet. GM products all use the same roof. Windows, windows up. Basically it with a Chevrolet clip and about the back of the back window here, you could do a Chevrolet on it and, and they're not any different. Yeah, if you look at this car, it's proportioned exactly as a 55, 6, 7 Chevrolet. Same roof, same door. Glass, everything is the same. Just a little different on the trim. You could put a 55, 6, 7 nose on this thing and, and nobody would know the difference. But I re really like the Pontiac. They're different. Um, you just don't see as Got a lot of cool stainless on them. Yeah. In the same way, this car, like I said, just really solid, nice rockers, door jams, still original paint jams. And, you know, it's just a, it's a survivor car. Yeah, you can see that doors nice the rockers nice same thing on the floors over here just yeah, all around solid these, car. I mean, every weep hole is just nice and solid underneath that's what impressed me most is when we put it up on the rack the car was a, just a nice solid car yeah really nice car again that's a surface rust uh, not any rust through on this car virtually a rust free car <clears throat> you can see the lights plate still got the organ plates on it 1956. Very nice car. Rear window, same 5567 Chevrolet. Yeah, just how nice the door panels and the armrests still are on the back. I mean, both the armrests, none of the armrests are ripped or torn or anything. The bottom of that one is rolling up a little bit, but I mean, you just don't see these factory armrests that are still that nice. But like I say, it is a 77,000 mile car and we just spent some time in a barn. Yeah. It's getting harder and f harder to find these classics in this kind of shape. They're just, uh, it's really fun to see one in this condition. Um, we've all been to shows and seen restored cars, but to see a survivor car like this is just really, really special. All right, guys, hope you like this episode. If you would, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Thank you. All right, guys, tell me, if you own this car, what would you do with it? Would you leave it like it is? Would you blow it all apart and restore this car? Paint it, do the interior, overhaul the suspension, brakes, and everything? Or would you just drive it as is? Uh, this car starts right up. Uh, transmission works good. Brakes could use a little updating, uh, but otherwise works good. I think I'd leave it alone and just make it a weekend cruiser here. So, again, thank you for watching Rusty Duck Garage. And please hit that subscribe button and comments. You know, we like to hear what you have to say. Uh, tell us what you think of this car. Uh, leave your comments below and we'll try to answer them back to you. Thank you.